What's up guys, in this graphic design fundamentals video I basically want to give you a quick crash course in graphic design and try and teach you as much as I've learned in the past 15 years of working in the design industry I myself went to university, I studied graphic design I was in college, I did graphic design I got a first class honours and then I went on into the real world and there's different graphic design is quite a broad subject so I'm going to talk about just some fundamentals on how you can improve your designs effectively and what graphic design is like in the real world so myself I was very into photography early on I then graduated and went to work in print magazines and then digital magazines and then so that was with Wired and Vogue when they were early on with Condé Nast and then I then moved on into the digital industry and made some websites for some some huge companies so I'm going to talk about what I've learned and um, some of the foundations that you need to know about graphic design so let's just jump straight in with some fonts so you might have heard um, or, you, or you might you might know there's two different types of fonts so this is called serif font and sans serif font this is this is really at its basis this is a really good example so these two different types of font come from different art movements um, so all serif means is it's this cursive bit at the end of the of the letter effectively and sans means without so sans serif is without the cursive bit and serif is with the cursive bit so sans serif comes from it's more of a swiss movement in design it's a uh, it's more modern in its approach it works better on screens um, these serif fonts are more traditional they work great in print let me just show you where you'll use the differences so I'll show you a couple of Vogue magazine for an example so this is a serif font see the way it's got the cursive bits at the end and it really works great for let's just have a look at another cover here so it really works great for like the title of a company or a very large heading at the top and then you see a lot of these are in so these are sans serif ones they're a lot more simple but the main headlines are in the serif font again it'll probably be the same on other ones this one they've gone for the whole cover this is Vogue Espana they've gone for the whole cover in sans serif let's take a look at this one there you go so you got your your sans serif font here a lot more modern and then you got your traditional one at the top and that's really where you start your um, your graphic design journey so you learn about fonts you learn about what the different what the differences are between them then that moves into typography and how typography has changed over the years if you if you type in typography to um, graphic design typography into Google and go to images and take a look at this image in particular this is really good for understanding what everything means in the actual in the type itself because you'll use graphic design programs so we, we it could be we use Adobe mainly as the as the people who make the programs and in all their tools there'll be like point size there'll be all this terminology about what's going on with the type and that's something that you can learn just by googling it and taking a look so typography there's two fundamental differences in it and you can you can go into this route if you want so that's just something I just wanted to click on touchly the next thing is color so a great place to get your colors is color.adobe.com and then just go to go to trends or explore and color is a fundamental important design in it's a fundamental thing in all graphic design when you're normally doing a design you you might want to choose a color palette and that's made you don't want to go you don't want to do too many colors you want to choose maybe five or six which all have a common theme running through so you can see this is a really good website to get them so they've got loads of different images and they actually break down the colors that they've used and if you go into it you'll be able to copy and paste the colors and put them into your own design so this looks like a nice color palette if i click this these are hex codes and what hex codes there's different ways of inter basically there's different ways of interpreting color online hex code is a computer's code for what the color is you might also see rgb values which is a um, which is six numbers and that is rgb is the different red green and blue values basically that used to tell printers how to print 
and a hex code is a more a digital focused way of doing that i just wanted to show you a really good graphic design which is which is my favorite color so i used to work for wired magazine a couple of years ago and i remember they always have like a strong graphic style and when they released this the web is dead episode in the us they had this amazing vibrant orange in the background so i think it's great to use flat color whenever you want but this picture doesn't really do it justice because it absolutely popped in real life and that was a di that was a different type of color that was called a pantone color so pantone is a company who actually prints um they do a lot of stuff for magazines and you'll probably see them if you go into like you can get these pantone color charts of all these different colors of when you want paint for your house or or different things but that's a different type of color so that's not made with red green blue it's, it's not like a traditional ink inkjet printer they actually mix these colors so pantone have their very own um colors and color charts and the way you um you have to go on their website to get your own pantone color so you put in a hex code and they'll spit out their own version of it that you then use in your design so i just wanted to show you that i just want to show you quickly um something that i did a while ago so i'm a huge liverpool fan and maybe about 10 years ago i wanted to make a little a magazine for liverpool just as like kind of like a graphic design piece but you see the way i use this really strong red in the background so that was a pantone color and that kind of popped like the wide one so another website i wanted to show you is behance.net this is a great website for any graphic designer if you're getting into the industry you can go in there you can type whatever you want in and you can have a look what other people are doing i always use it to check out what's going on um with other designers so if you t I, i've just typed in graphic design typography you can take a look and see some of some of the beautiful work that's going on and it might give you inspiration to do some of your own designs so that's just something i wanted to check out another important thing in graphic design is photography photography is its own specialist subject when i was in college i focused heavily on photography i'm just trying to find if i've got any of my own photography on here i don't think so but um photography is such a such a great art form in itself and i wanted to show you this website is unsplash.com so if you go on there and you type in something like mountain for example and it'll have a load of images hundreds of images are come up by photographers but they're all royalty free so whenever you do your you do your work this is just a bit of advice you um you need to use royalty free images because you can't just go on google and copy and paste an image and put it into your design if you do that there's lots of licensing issues and you can get taken to court and it can get you can get your website taken down you really want to stay away from using other people's images so check out unsplash.com go on their website and they just have a load of free images that you can use and sometimes if you want to you can accredit the you can accredit the photographer and so it's always good to do that if you ever get the chance to give back and the best thing about unsplash is it's all free but it's also high quality all the photos are beautiful they're um they're really really well done and it's 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 a it's a site where i get all of my photography from i just find i find it a great source and there's so much on there you can just type in whatever you want and you'll you'll find hundreds of photos and then the last thing i just wanted to touch in this crash course is um, illustration so illustration is another route you can go down as a designer whereas i i went in, in print design we used to hire a lot of illustrators they'd um do illustrations for the magazines like i showed you the football magazine that i just did then if i go back into it you can see every page had an illustration with it illustration is a passion for many people they use adobe illustrator to put these designs together and i just wanted to quickly show you this website called undraw.co this is a great place where you can get illustrations these are all royalty free again very similar to unsplash so it's quite